Hi, this is Jake with Amtech Company. Today I'll be showing you a project on how to add color data to your STLs and export them as OBJs for full color and full grayscale printing. I'll be showing this process on a Stratasys J35, primarily focused on grayscale printing, but the same process will work to make OBJs for any multicolor printer or full color printer. If you're a teacher that we've sent this video to, hopefully this video can give you some project ideas that you could do with your class. Um, if you've stumbled upon this video in other ways, check out amtechcompany.com for more information on what we do. The models we're using today are customizable D&D style miniatures that you can color in any way you want and send it over to your multicolored printers for pretty cool results that you'll see at the end. To get started today, let's head over to Desktop Hero 3D and we will sign up for a new account. This website's absolutely free to use, although there are premium assets that you can purchase. I'm just going to make a quick account. And with that account signed in, we can go back to the main page. You'll see on the left here, there is a 3D model of a character and everything on the right are the assets you could use to customize that character. This is a really fun project that your students can take part in. If you are a teacher, um, go ahead and let them go crazy with it. You'll note on the right hand side that certain articles are tagged with a banner. If that's the case, then these are premium assets, so try to stay away from those or else you'll end up paying some money, and that is not optimal. I'm gonna take a few minutes to create a model that I like, and I will get back to you when that's complete. There we go. I've made some sort of elven ranger who's uh, you know, pointing, calling his next shot. Once your character is complete, you can go ahead and hit add to cart. This website lets you buy the miniatures, which we don't need, so we're just gonna click the bottom option, STL file download, and hit download now. I did not rename my character, so it's just gonna appear as you know default character, and I've downloaded a couple others, so it's number two. The next program you'll need to open is Paint 3D. It should come on any Windows-based computer. If not, you can download it from the Microsoft Store for free. We're gonna say open, Browse files, and I'm gonna find my character in my downloads. Once that opens up, I like to go into 3D view here at the top. That's gonna to allow me to, you know, rotate and look at this model a little bit easier. Now, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a 3D painting tool. You can have multiple different brush styles over here, as well as a fill tool, which comes in handy. You can select your colors down here. Keep in mind, if you're doing a grayscale print, you don't actually need to design the miniature in grayscale. It will uh, convert it automatically when you put it into GrabCAD. So I'm just gonna go crazy, use as many tools as I can, and kind of fast forward through the process of me painting up this figure. As I go through, you'll notice the tools I use the most are the calligraphy pen, the marker, and the fill tool. I'm just going through to add base coats of each color in the main areas and then later I'll go back and add some highlighting and shadows. Keep in mind that Paint 3D has a lot of other tools you can use such as adding text, adding stickers, as well as adding basic 3D shapes. This can all be utilized on not just models like this but on any STL you might want to modify with Paint 3D. So it's not perfect, but you can see there's some finer details around the eyes as well as a lot of different colors. Um, when we're ready to export it, we can hit menu, save as, 3D model, and we're going to save it as a 3MF. And that's going to maintain all of the color data on the outside of our STL. And I'm just going to call it Ranger. There we go. Now that it's saved, we can go back into GrabCAD. I'm gonna actually select our printer now. It is a J35 Pro. You'll see the wizard model gets converted over to grayscale. The J35 supports grayscale. The J55 and J8 series actually support full color as well. We can go ahead and add model to add our Ranger. When you first import models, uh, I noticed that 3D Paint will rescale them, so make sure to have the original measurements, uh, and then you can just scale it up from here. He's a little shorter than the other guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little 1.1. 1 
that's good to go. I want to make sure the bottom surface is flat. So I'm going to say orient face to plane, bottom, and it is. You can see now that it's converted to grayscale. We have a few different colors mixed in as well as some finer details around the eyes. And I'll get this printed out and show you guys how it looks. As you can see, these miniatures printed out very well with some fine detail around the eyes and eyebrows. This was a great project for adding detail to your models for full color or grayscale printing. For more information on the printers we use, check out Stratasys' website at stratasys.com. And if you're a teacher in the Mid-Atlantic area, check out amtechcompany.com for more information on how we can help you add technology to your classroom. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.